Welcome back guys to more Mansion Build 101. Don't know the full name of this series, but we'll just go with it. So I'm going to do a little bit interior work to start off this video. I feel like we need to get this area nice and clean, you know, make it an eye candy instead of just blah. Because I mean like, I wasn't going to do the interior to begin with just because I wanted to focus on the exterior uh, big words that mean nice shiny house thingy um i didn't really want to focus on the interior all that much but as the days have gone past i it, it looks it would look a lot better if i actually did something with the interior especially since there's a shit ton of windows everywhere so therefore i'm just going to do a bare bones basic bitch of a floor i'm doing a little bit of quartz just to get it a nice white and gray pop to it just from you know the I don't know why that is so lopsided how did I manage to do that that bugs me anyways um yeah quartz so I can get really white and then really gray um it just it makes the colors pop nicely so it's it, it's good um, nothing too fancy with the placing of the blockages. And then we're going to do floors. I think we're going to do sandstone half slabs. I feel like that's going to be a con good contrast for the colors. Um, look at me using big words. Be proud of me, people. Be proud of me. Yeah, I, I think sandstone half slabs are going to look good. So that's a, uh, yes, sir, they are going to look good. Mm. Sexy as fuck. I'm okay with that. I'm actually very surprised on how well this series is doing. I mean, the first episode went phenomenally. Phenomenally? Phenomenally? I can't speak, apparently. But, um... Yeah, the, the reaction for everybody was amazing. And I'm glad everyone's liking it so far. Uh, I'm kind of slowly running out of ideas for this said build, but... I still have enough to get me at least 10 episodes. So, right now, I'm, I'm not going to share you with you my game plan for this one because it's a secret, okay? You'll see. Alright, so we're just going to... I'm trying to make some stairs right now. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. Use half slabs or stairs themselves. But half slabs, I, I don't have enough space in this... Uh, I don't know what you, what you call it, dining area? Not really a dining area, more of a uh, entrance, entrance way. So, I'm just going to, uh, uh, I'm just seeing the spacing so far and see how, what, what what's going to, no, never mind. I'm going to have to curve it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to curve it. Going to curve it, curve it, curve it, dude. Curve it. Let's go right there, and then there, yeah, that, that's going to look good. It's going to look nice and pretty for me. Eh. Okay guys, so we're just doing the half slabs on the top, we finished the stairs, but um, yeah, I was going to do a basketball court today, but I kind of felt like, you know, that's not really... It's a cool side project, but it's really not that substantial when it comes to the build. So, I kind of wanted to build something that was going to take me about 45 minutes to do. Instead of 25. Because, I mean, I need good t content, not... Alright, so I'm trying to decide if I want to do these trapdoors all the way around this one block, or just on the glowstone. I'm feeling like just on the glowstone, just because it... It doesn't look that good. I mean, okay. So, here's the game plan for this video. I'm going to make a library. Now, this is going to be a pretty basic one, except the way I'm going to do the roof, it, I'll explain when you see it. Um, it it's a, it's going to be a little different, so just keep an open mind with it, and I'm hoping you like it. If not, get over yourself. Alright, so we just finished up the um, 
a little bridge way to where I'm going to have it. Um, I'm going to go with circle a circular uh, structure again. Uh, it's going to be kind of on the square side. It's not going to be extremely uh, sorry I was yawning again apparently. Uh, it's not going to be extremely circular compared to like the um, found area. But then again, now it's going to be more circular than the uh, green fountain area. I don't know what to call that place. I honestly don't. I don't have a name for it. I feel like I should have a name for it. Then again, I don't have a name for this mansion. Uh, let's just call her Lucy. Have you seen that movie? That's a great fucking movie. Like, that chick is just... Mm. Anyways... Um, yeah, I think it's more circular than the green room. I think the green room is, uh, kind of like a diamond, uh, kind of like a star has, like, four points. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a diamond, basically, on that side. Um, all right. So I'm just going to fill in this, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to start up. Um, this is just my key as where I want my um, book my bookshelves. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Uh, so it's just, so I know my spacing on everything. Um, which is actually a very helpful tool, just so I can visualize in my head where, where I want what it's gonna look like um, it's kinda like framing before you build so it, it's a good habit to get into if you wanna uh, attempt this especially with working in interiors and we're going to make some stained glass I, I really really always wanted to do this just have a gigantic window of stained glass and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to attempt this because I'm not, I've never really used stained glass. But, so what I'm doing is I just have a shit ton of stained glass options and I'm just flicking my uh, scrolly wheel on my mouse and whatever it lands on, I place it. So it's completely random and it's not like, like I'm choosing it and eyeballing what color needs to go next. This, so it's random, it doesn't look like I try to manipulate the structure at all okay guys so I just did the wall and I kinda wanna make the window better um, bigger just because I wanna have like a gigantic viewing area so it's gonna be a crescent moon shape sideways something or another and it should look good alright it's time for our bookshelves. So I think I'm just gonna do three high and then four high over here. Yeah, that should look good. Um, the reason it's curved like that is I don't know like the um, the walls. The reason it, it's, it goes in a uh, crescent moon shape so it's it's a piece of it's missing. I don't know how I'm gonna do the roof on the main building. So, but I do want to connect the roofing from the main building to the library. Instead of just having a tunnel and having a separate building, I want I want it to feel like it's connected. So that's why I'm I'm not doing a roof right now. Um and I don't know exactly when I'm going to be done with the main building because it's a continuous project. I feel like I'm going to add another level to it. Um probably like an attic or something, but We'll see how it goes. But that's the main reason for me not adding in a ceiling right now. Alright guys, so this is it. It's looking, it's looking fucking fabulous. Um, I'm really liking it. I really like the stained glass and the lanterns and it, it, it it's it's good. It's a good project. So I just want to say thank you go. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do it, and do anything helps. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.